Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, part 26. So we don't plan on doing the Githlanke Queen's quest. Or helping her. Or helping her. Um, we're here on the map. The map says no option hack. Unless we ha have to, I suppose if we have to do it then that's our only option. So we're gonna go down this path here and See what is beyond. I wonder where that dragon is. Ooh, treasure. Is it going to be trapped? Let's see. I don't see anything on it. Opening it. Has some arrows that you might want. Two acid arrows and arrows. Roaring thunder and something else. Nice. Yeah. Well, somebody isn't following. And group. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Best be on my way. Still alive, so that's progress. Ah. Climbing up the knotted roots. Swift as my feet can carry me. Oh, I see where we're at. Right here's the uh, talking statue. Right over there. So we're just below that. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Any treasure? Yeah. A note. This a junk maze by the looks of it. Oh, right. Yeah, it's probably talking about this mace here. Or maybe the other mace from the... Stockhold, Dawnmaster. From death, life. Okay, we teleport back to the crags. Over here. And we'll check out the area up above. Northwest of this area. What's over here? Oh, chasm? Huh. Something's infected the area over there by the looks of it. That might be worth a look. 
Ooh, a dirt mound. Money. What's the black say? Walk in the way of dawn, for Lathander cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. Okay, I see somebody up there. Okay. Who uh. there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. May I inquire if perchance you retain among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name of Gale? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? Um, it would be my pleasure. And I would confirm it to be so. Please, after you. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah, and yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Elminster? The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too, finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep deep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. <laughs> yes, Bill, where's your decorum? Oh, for the love of <laughs> Fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Graver matters are at hand. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um, <laughs> you see, I... Um, well, that is to say... Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. <laughs> um... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I like that idea. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, 
you're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Yeah, I got option. The very purpose of my presence in a roundabout sort of way. You must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Mm. Gale alone? How so? The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must hmm. find the heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will Burn it from this world. <laughs> That's a funny option. So I, I really like that option. I would choose that option, but it's a little rude considering he's going to sacrifice himself to save everyone, right? Yeah, sure. Say what you will, but you can't force Gil to go through with this. No, indeed. But I think she trusts me too. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. And need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. Maena hastra mistra real Italian thras annas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. On my honor, it shall be done. On my honor? I'm not sure yet I can say the same. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion, be a moon unto yourself, 
Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Gil has a quest for us here. Let's see. What is your quest? An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. I'd imagine, uh, I always imagine, a monster to be more imposing. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms, perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering doing what Elman Stir said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is Find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. Whatever you need to do, I'll be there to help. I had no doubt I could rely on you. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. I'll make sure we find it, Gal. I promise. Hmm. Then I suppose there is nothing more to be done but find the heart of the Absolute. And stop its beating. Okay, let's do some more exploring. Beware of the shadows. Beware, beware. Hmm. Okay. What is it? Ooh, sure. I want to see what's over there. Okay, right at the Shadowlands. A goblin. Ah, uh, are you the true soul? Take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch. Stay out of the dark and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Show her has a light, so maybe we can just use that. Okay, opening up my inventory here. How do we use a torch? We don't need a torch. Yeah, but I'm kind of worried that shadows might fight back. Oh, I'll save. Oh, I leveled up. Shall we do that? 
Okay, leveling up. Level up. Level 7 fighter. Okay, so we got some more health. And what's this? Superiority dies. Oh, I think this is the thing we use for our skills. Okay, maneuver. Maneuvers are powerful attacks that use superiority die. Oh, right, so we're up to choose two more maneuvers. Sweet. Alright, so I've chosen precision attack. Your next weapon attack gets an attack roll bonus equal to superiority die. And sweeping attack. Oh, it's 1 to 8 damage. Swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping arc to attack multiple enemies at once. Uh, we might want to change that. Although, maybe hitting multiple creatures would actually provide it being useful. Hmm. Because if I'm hitting like four enemies with a 1d8. Okay, but if you. Like at most, you really have two. Please. And killing a creature will. So maybe you should choose Rally instead. Okay, so I'm going to choose Rally instead. A sweeping attack. Grant an ally eight temporary hit points with a bolstering cry. Except. Next level. Okay, Shahart leveled up. Got some more health. Class future, spells. Got Banishment, Death Ward, protect a creature from death, freedom of movement, snap out an uh, ally that out of stun, really difficult train, can't slow them down and they can't be magically paralyzed or restrained. Oh, that sounds really useful. Guardian of Faith, call forth a divine guardian that attacks nearby enemies. Every time it deals damage, the Guardian loses an equal amount of hit points. So we've basically been using her as a buffer, and I like the idea of giving her about 30 points. My buddy got this as his spell for his level up, which sounds really useful. Okay, so we'll change that to Freedom of Movement. I could give her a spirit guardian and change it to guardian of faith. I haven't used it. Oh yeah, that could be her new uh, sword ability that she uses instead. Could be useful. Yep. Ten turns? Okay, next level up. Curves, leveled up. The class feature, what's this? Actions. Aura of Hate. You and nearby fiends and undead gain an additional two, two damage dealt with melee weapons. Your aura disappears if you fall unconscious. Permanent. He gets that similar to his other thing. Nice. It's always on. It's gonna have that. Okay. 
Okay. I don't think we want to change this stuff around. No. Okay. Except. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. I'm actually thinking. Doing that instead. Just gotta remember I have that spell there. Oh, okay. Well, this isn't good. Okay, she's gonna heal you up. Oh, we can talk to uh, Shadowheart. My faith will She's gonna help you up real quick. Well, we can do the tier four spell here. There we go. Shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. So what does this all mean? Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius, perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. Okay. Let's see, how do we get a torch out? I think if we add the torch, we'll... We'll have to worry about the shadow. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Cast all wounds into darkness. Take you. Take you. Okay. At least things have stayed interesting. Yeah. Shadow purse. Bet he was pure tasty. You're the true soul we're taking to Moonrise, I'm guessing. Aye. 
away in the shallows. But a curse don't care about some itty bitty light once you get deeper. But don't worry, boss. We've got a guide. Talk to Kansif inside. He'll run through it. Anything for a true soul. Put in a good word for me at Moonrise, eh? Hmm. What's that? So who do we talk to here? I oh down here I see. Okay. So, an honor. Did you bring the liar? I think we do have a liar, but it might be in a storage <laughs> too. Good. We were told to expect you. Then pluck a tune, and our guide will come scuttling. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see what. Oh, oh here got twenty. Success. Critical success. Yeah, let's inspire one. I think. Calling us their god and their guide together. Greetings in the Absolute's name. You have been charged with guiding us. Creepy. New flesh for you, my queen. But who are they? Best introduce yourself. Perhaps you'll listen to a true soul. Oh, so he has some sort of light source that we might want. Like a special torch that's going all around us. And you? What are you? More faithful of the Absolute. They need a guide to the tower, same as us. Your minds connect. And you hear a whispered voice, the Absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the dark. <laughs> a true soul. You have more worshippers every day, Majesty. Oh, we have one of those. Yes. They'll do it nicely. <laughs> we could attack. God, I don't know. Okay. Very well. Gather the flock. 
Bless us again, Majesty. Shine your light. Protect us. Come. Follow and stay close. Do not leave the light. Do not feed the shadows. You heard him. Move out! Yeah. Return to the light. Do not stray. They should stay closer, my queen. They should stay in the light. Unless they want to become shadows. There's so many people here. It's hard to click. Where's the ambush going on? Wait. Something's wrong, Majesty. Who's there? Show yourself. Harper's attack! Kill the cultists and get that lantern! Attacks! Villains in the dark! These Harpers are clearly enemies of the Absolute. They could be worthwhile allies. But defend the guide and you may preserve your cover as a true soul. Mm, I don't think we want to kill the other people. Don't know. Yeah. Okay. So, the second option, is that right? Sure. Okay, we're going to turn on the caravan and attack the, the drider. What are they doing? We thought they were true souls! Traitors! Heathens! We pulled out a weapon and smashed his legs? I don't know. Oh, they also have Blessing of Saloon. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, maybe worth it? <laughs> awesome! Yeah. I'm kind of surprised they didn't go for the sheep. Should be able to just use a normal attack, right? Can't harm, 
sanctuary. Oh, I can't hit it because it has a sanctuary. Effective anti can't be targeted by enemy attacks or spells. However, it can still take damage from spells that influence a large area. But then I hit you. Let's see. Right there. Oh, it still hit us. Oh, he still has all of his life. I can't hit him at all. So, let's see here. Could try this on you. Okay. Uh, disarm this orc. Okay, that's it. Okay, more attacks. Okay, let's use goading. Okay, I think we should just hit him. End. For a dull moment. Okay, it's Kerr's turn. Let's see here. Tier two. He'll heal you up. Oh, he's getting up. That Kerr's just getting an opportunity attack. To cure. Before we talk to these people. the void. Let's see, let's try out her new spell. Let's move that over. Okay, now we can see it. Oh, we could try this too. 6 to 48 damage. Oh, it's gonna hit you as well. Okay, I shouldn't do that. I don't remember what her spell looks like. Oh, she can't use it. Okay. Seventy-two. About that. I still can't harm that creature. Okay, let's harm. Yeah. Time to meet your maker. Well, why would you move? Eighty-five percent. It was eighty-five percent. How it miss? Oh, no. 
Oh, he's dead. Time to hear. Can't tell what this is. There's a sword thing over on. Oh. Okay, my turn. Let's see, can we disarm him? And then pick up the what? The uh, light? Ah, oh, Massacre already dies. Okay, it's him with this. And that. Mm, missed a bunch. Let's see here. Tier 2. Let's do that. Him still. Okay, entry. I need to give him some potions. Let's see. Give him one. Okay. That's all healed. Okay. Need to act fast. Let's see here. Tier three spell. It's just the move. I thought this bow could be used without our moving. Oh, it's a creature we can touch. Okay. Whoa, that must have been like a critical. That's fine. So that's just him. If he occurs, I might die. Whoa. 
Looks like he's been electrified. Survival is all that matters. So I could use my second wind. Okay, that's a good idea. Um, maybe just a little behind us. Not too far, because you want to still be in the light. Um. No, behind me and hers. Yeah. That worked. Now we hopefully won't get hit by some of the stuff. Not all of us, anyways. Okay, she dodged. What's this one doing? They're saying something. Okay, let's use. Second wind. What? How much health are the hills? Supposed to heal eight to six, uh, seventeen. Got kind of like a, and then a roll one, a die. Okay. Um. Oh, it's still in sanctuary. Oh, is it went into sanctuary? Okay. Let's hit this. Curse. The blessing. 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 What is that? Andrew. She will cast the healing spell. Who needs life most? Curse does it looks like, and she'll heal herself by healing curse. Okay, enter. Must have been a very good berry. I take a lot of damage just to try and hit you. Oh, you charmed them. But there's sanctuary. The sanctuary again? Oh no, there's sanctuary blocked. They can't enter sanctuary. So I think sanctuary is their skill and not something of ours. I think. Die to the um, shadow. What's he doing? Oh, he has the. Never mind. Okay, let's use Hunter's Mark. Oh, we gotta switch our weapon, don't we? Okay. Okay. 
Let's slap these two. Enter. Oh, so much for peace. Okay, it's cruises. Let's use a lot of healing here. The hell you up? Sweet, that worked out well. I need to just use this skill here. She will use guiding bolt. And uh, well, maybe we shouldn't. That should be our spells, I think. Okay, well, let's just hit the spider. Oh, nice. I thought that one died. Oh, we lost our blessing. Definitely don't want to miss us. Okay, let's prepare. Then... That's right. Mm, that's a small hit. Twenty percent chance. I guess we try. My hit. Such a low chance to hit this creature. Okay, Curse's turn. Let's see. Can he heal himself up? Looks like it. Take you. And. Two to twenty. Okay. Shit. Uh, that's not as good as I do on it. So close to dying. Incredible. He picked it up. The light so radiant, not even the curse can dim it. The lantern flickers ever so briefly, and you hear a slight twitter. Or perhaps it's simply your imagination. You don't move a god's damn muscle. Talk. Why in the hells would a cultist turn on his kind? You notice a pin on the man's chest, identical to the one you found in Grimforge. He is a harper. I'm infected with a parasite, but I'm seeking a cure. Follow me. 
I know a refuge from the darkness. You can rest there. Good on then. Let the lantern's light be your guide. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Okay. So I guess we gotta follow him? Oh yeah. What's on the spider thing? Cruel sting? Six to twenty? Got it. Guys, guys, I just left us here. We gotta get our torches out. Yeah, I can. I think I'll leave the skull here. That's cap supply. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below about how you think this would have gone if we just fought them and then went through here. I have a feeling they may have attacked us if we were carrying that light, that lantern thing. And we will see you later. I'm getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. I did what I could, but I'm not sure if they'll survive out there on their own. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. So we just got that after doing a long rest.